Earlier today, I saw some of the top teams were using this. Scotty, Tier, and Festival Hell combo. And, you know, I played 16 matches. Only four losses because I actually backed out of the matches. I was trying to record the video, but out of the 16 matches I played, all 16 were bots and I was getting tired <laughs> of facing bots and quitting. I'm playing again a little later. Hopefully, hopefully I'll face real players, but dead patch so it'd be like that so this team comp works incredibly well against other hells uh mainly because if you're facing a real player which we're not but if you are she will very likely aoe <clears throat> and that will give a debuff to scotty now at all times you want to be doing this guy attack card the one that debuffs her to ensure that you get as many debuffs as possible. Tier can be a big problem, right? You're facing other tiers, it can be a big problem, but it's okay as long as you get an attack with hell. The debuff card, you're gonna be lowering his crit chance crit damage, and alongside Scotty's, you know, lower, it's all right. You saw I opened up with two Scotty attacks and that gave me three debuffs. Plus tier's debuff when the turn started, right? Three debuffs, two from attacking them just in general, and then one from the card. Works pretty good. I didn't lose a single match that I actually played, but to be fair, <laughs> I don't know how much of a good reference that is because 16 matches were all 16 bots. So, for the three new players wondering how you can tell if it's a bot or a real player. Uh, on JP, it's simpler. I know it's a bot right away because the connection is perfect. Look, I just moved the card and no lag whatsoever. On Global, it's a little harder to tell because there's not as much lag. But on JP, it's instantaneous. And then the second thing is, I mean, if they don't have food, <laughs> it's, it's a bot. Like this guy, right? If he was a real player, he would have dodge food. There's no reason why this person wouldn't be using dodge food, right? So you just know, you just know. If they do have dodge food, if you face a real player, if you manage to, always make sure you use Scotty's card first. You don't care about the damage, really. You you really want to not damage tier. <laughs> uh, you know, either the, the, the buff removal or the other card if you get two of them. And, but the, the idea is to debuff Scotty as much as possible, right? If you're, debuff, if you're debuffing Scotty as much as possible, then it's going to be real hard for them to deal with her. And as long as you have a good amount of debuffs and you get the, the hell debuff on Freyr, you should be good, really. You should be good. Highly unlikely the enemy tier, I mean, it will depend on how much damage you do. You probably won't do much if they have dodge. Depend on how, depends on how much the enemy tier is going to do to you, but I mean, generally speaking, you're not going to do that much damage on these first attacks. The debuff card from hell doesn't do that much damage. We only did that much because they don't have dodge and I just popped in two Scotty cards, but against a real player, that's not really happening. Ain't no way. We got a real player, baby. Let's go. 225 KCC, if this is a bot, I swear to god, 225 KCC bot is crazy. <laughs> I actually think it is. <coughs> Man, I've been choking on the air pretty often recently. Am I getting dumb? Is Grand Cross giving me brain damage? It might be. It is a bot. It's just a very high CC bot. It's like an actual, like, whale, whale, whale bot. Uh... Okay, there's no hell to really worry about. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this though. Bond's gonna be debuffing us enough. There's a lot of bonds right now. A surprising amount of bonds. Mostly not on 7 Daily Sins teams like this one. They're generally speaking on human teams. So my assumption is that Against these bond teams, you're gonna do good because you're gonna be debuffed a lot. But if it's against the Roxy and Green Ascanor team, 
I don't know, man. Roxy can really pop off. With the new Holy Relic... I, I hope we face one. But Roxy... Can just, like, pretty much one-shot tier. If, you know, the human team is going first, which ideally you are going to go second with this team, so... You are going to be going second against the humans. If the humans go first against you, and, you know, they, they pop off your dodge, and they go... They, like, luckily get, like, a level 2 for Roxy, or, you know, they get a lucky crit with Ascanor on tier. Tier is done. Like, <clears throat> Roxy's Relic makes her hit so hard. Alright. Uh, I hope next match is a real player. Um, going 20 matches against bots in a row is crazy. Highly unusual for uh, patch week to be like this. Not even patch week, festival week. <gasps> it's a real player. This is the idea here. We're gonna remove the buff from tier, but he has dodge. Let's see in action, baby! First time trying against a, <laughs> a real human being. <laughs> uh, let's see it, baby. Lots of tier cards, good for me. I find it highly unlikely he can... Damn, he just went straight for a tier ult, huh? Does this tier have... Uh... Tarmir Link or is, it, or is it hell? Let's see. It's him. Hmm. I think this kills. We're gonna have a good amount of debuffs on Scotty. Oh, this might just kill actually. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> okay. I I should have dumped the other tier. I should have dumped oh, I should have dumped the tier AoEs. What am I doing? I should have just dumped the tier at least. Could have gone. Could have gone tier. Was it level 2 here? I think it was. I could have gone just full tier. Just level 2 tier, level 1 tier, level level 2 AoE tier. Like who cares, man? It tier is just insane. <laughs> there's no there's no ifs and buts. Tier is just insane. No, what, do we chase the kill on Rimuru or her? I think Rimuru. Another debuff. Yep, yep. That's a good choice. Is she 6-6 six, six is my question. That was so little damage, it's actually kind of crazy. Is she 6-6 six, six? for how many debuffs she had? Because I'm... Oh, actually, I didn't see how many debuffs of her passive she had. 6-6. Six, six. Uh, yeah, we're doing this. Yeah, we're doing this. That's gonna kill. Then this is gonna kill, er, like, re him, Rimuru and her. Does she get the revive from this? She doesn't. You didn't kill Rimuru? Damn! Damn, the Nashi passive is crazy. Damn! Yeah, this is the thing with the 6-6 six, six hell, right? You definitely want to watch out for them, because if you start killing the others, and then they start stacking the revives, it can be annoying. But generally speaking, uh, if you just check, you know, their ult, you should be fine. You should be fine. Thing here with Rimuru, right? He's gonna heal a lot from this kill. And it's good for him that he's killing Tyr, because Tyr was like my big DPS here. But look at the corrosion. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that corrosion is, uh... That corrosion is gonna get you. That's for sure. You know what's crazy? I, you know, I, I had recorded um, my first matches for this video earlier in the day. And it wasn't as good for finding players because it was a bad time in Japan. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait for a good time in Japan to, fi to face, like, real players. And then I do. And right now I'm doing so, I'm playing a good time. 
I should find Japanese players. But the one person I find is not Japanese. <laughs> uh, it's someone I actually know. It's crazy. Uh, wait, who had the Tarmio link? Was it Askinar? Yeah, I was gonna go for Roxy. Because, um, really, I just don't care about Bon. You know, he's debuffing me, so. And Rox is. Mm, Should have single target. Ooh! Whoa! That single target did a lot. Single target. The AoE did a lot. Holy. Yeah, Scotty had how many debuffs? A lot. Yeah. Yeah, those Scotty debuffs. Because even though, like, Bon is lowering me quite a bit, right? Scotty gives me actual damage increase. I forgot how much he gives per debuff. Is it like 10%? I know it's, it's like a pretty large number, considering how much. How many debuffs are? How many debuffs you can get? Very quickly. Oh, sorry, 15%. Yeah. 15 is a crazy number, actually. Like, I. It's been a while since I actually checked what Sky does. I play JP, so the only times I can actually check what Ina does is if I, like, I go on the <laughs> on Great Cross database or the wiki and I'm like, okay, I can read. Okay, I know this is a real player. True 54 KCC. <laughs> this is not a bot. There's no way a no food team can have true 54 KCC. Let's see this Roxy here. It's literally what I just said. An Escadar card and a Roxy card. Kills tier. Yep. Yep. There is a decent amount of debuffs on Scotty though. Mm. She ha he had Tarm Link on her. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Get an attack in on Roxy. And one on the Ascanor. And then lower her crit chance and crit damage. Hoping that this is enough lowering that I will be okay here, but we'll see. I missed the crit, that's good. Now she's the one with tar milling, so. Yep, 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 yep. Scotty's, you know, attack lower, plus her crit chance, crit damage lower. Now the corrosion tick. Let's do one more debuff for Scotty. They're gonna AoE. It's not gonna crit anybody, but it's fine. They should, they should kill her. Yep, 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 yep. We'll be alright. And, I mean, Askinor... Could do me damage? I'm starting to stack a lot of... Uh, Flames. Three flames, not ideal, but Scotty has so many debuffs that I think I'll be alright. I have a revive as well. Yeah, each time Bon attacks me, it's one more debuff on Scotty, too. That's not killing me. Yep. Scotty's crazy. <laughs> oh, demons. Okay. Not gonna lie, was missing some demon action. Kind of varied, kind of varied right now with the new character. Because demons, I don't want to say struggle against hell. It's really hard for me to tell because I haven't faced demons that much using her. To be honest, I've seen a lot of people using her. Really. A lot of people that are actually playing the game are just trying out the new character. So, it's been harder to tell. Demons will have some debuffing, right? You got... Mali's passive debuff. You got, uh, you know, obviously, Demon King's debuff. Okay. Demon King's debuff card, right? But it's not as much debuffing, of course, as it is facing other hells or facing Bon. Not, it's not comparable. Uh, compa comparable. Not gonna lie though, that was a lot of damage on me. 
Um, can we double kill him here? And then do this? Might be able to. How much will he heal from this? Oh, he doesn't heal because if you have Tarmia Link, uh, but you have Melanscula passive, you can't heal. I forgot. I think it's the very last match. I just made a video a few hours ago about, you know, the potential of us getting a new collab in the end of October, which is this month already, so. And uh, if we do, possibility is very, very high that most characters, if not even all of them, will be unknown, right? Most of the time, if there's a new collab and the character is not straight up a human, they're unknown. Is there even a single character that we've had as a collab character that's neither humor or unknown? I'm trying to think. I don't think so. They're either human or they're unknown. Oh, no. There's never like... Fairy. <laughs> There's never like a giant. Right? They're either gonna be human or they're gonna be unknown. And chances are... A lot of these possible IPs... Like if it's Overlord... Or Fairy Tail... All of them are gonna be unknown. Alright? <laughs> they ain't gonna make Albedo a freaking human. <laughs> so... Uh... I don't know. Possibility of her becoming even better in the future is uh, quite high. So expect more Ragnarok meta. Love that.